So this question is a diagram question, right? We know that because of the picture here. Um, really, any time a question provides something visual, I'm going to categorize it as a diagram question because the strategy or the process that we use is always going to be the same no matter, no matter what the picture is of. If it's a shape, table, graph, doesn't matter. Uh, so our first strategy is to look at what we're given and to fill in or label the diagram with anything that we know, right? And this is before reading anything. So for instance, if this angle here is 106, then I know that the angle next to it is 74 because those two angles are supplementary. Now, if this angle is 23 and this is 74, then 23 plus 74 is 97. Then this angle here, right, because all three angles of a triangle must add up to 180, I can say, well, you know, 180 minus 97. And again, this is the non-calculator section, so I do advise that you actually do your workout by hand and not of your mind. Um, borrow from the zero, borrow from the eight, make a seven, make this a 10. So three, borrow 17 and eight. So that means this angle would be 83. And then the X right next to it would be the supplement to that, which means that it would be 97, right? 83 plus 97 is 180. So then X must be 97. And now I look at what the question is actually asking, and it's just saying, what is the value of X? I already found it. This is typically what will happen with diagram questions as you work your way through, not focusing on what the question's asking for, right? Which is why I suggest you do this before even reading the question, but instead focusing on what do I know? What can I find? What do I, what have I been given? What can I label? Work your way through that entire process and typically you'll find the answer relatively easily. So our answer here is 97.